Okay, so this video is about cross-validation for tuning parameters. And as I mentioned in the last video, cross-validation has multiple meanings. And so here, uh, we're going to use it for um, uh, tuning parameters. And um, this is part of the procedure of nested cross-validation that I'll talk about in the next video. Okay, so I'll call the parameter k, and I'm going to say that it takes five possible values, 1, 10, 100, 1,000, or 10,000. And I just chose these values for, you know, what, however I chose them, um, you can, you know, obviously you would choose uh, value, values of the parameters that were right for your problem. Okay, so let us go over the procedure. So we, we set aside the test fold. We're not going to touch that for a while. And then re remember, whenever you have a test fold, you only use it for evaluation purposes. You don't use it for training anything, okay? But you could use the training set for whatever you want. You can do whatever you want on the training set, as long as you don't touch that test set. So we're gonna do a kind of internal cross-validation procedure on the training set. Okay, so what we'll do is take the training set and reserve a validation set inside of the training set. And that's gonna be like our kind of mini it's going to be our, our mini test set for evaluation purposes. But remember, it's really part of the training set, so, uh, so you, can, you can really do whatever you want in that training set as long as you don't touch the test set. Okay, so I reserve my validation fold, and then I train the algorithm on the rest of the training set for each value of k, and then, um, and then I evaluated that on the validation set. And so I'm getting these accuracy values on that validation set. And then I'll rotate the validation fold, you know which fold is the validation fold, and I'll repeat this procedure, where again I get a, a different accuracy for each k on that validation set. And then I do this over and over, rotating which fold is the validation fold. And so then what I find in the end is that there's one value of k that perform the best across all of the folds, and I'm going to choose that k, okay? So here, um, let's say I evaluated, you know, the accuracy over the different validation folds of each k, and I happen to find that k equals 100 happen to give the best value. So I choose that k, and then I'm going to train on the entire training set with that value of k. That's my chosen value of k for this training set and for this algorithm. And then um, at that point, that's when I can evaluate the model on the test set. Okay, and then, um, great. So that's, now I've, I've shown you how to tune parameters and I've, I've gotten my value of k that I want. I train on the whole training set, and then I use that k to test on the test set. Okay, and in the next video, we're going to do nested cross-validation, where we essentially use the cross-validation for evaluation as an outer loop, and then the cross-validation for tuning parameters as an inner loop. So in that sense, the tuning, the aspect of tuning parameters is like it's considered part of the evaluate part of the algorithm that you're evaluating. Okay, thanks.